today I'll be showing you guys how to make tree 1.20 farms from Minecraft Bedrock but are super simple and you need in your world. So the first small farm we will be building today is a sheep farm actually. You can make obviously multiple of these, you don't have to make one. Um, you can make a lot for a lot of different colored sheep as you can see over here. As you can see I have one set up in my world as well and it is set up a little bit differently than the one I show in the video over here. But it's still the same form and it generates amazingly over here as you can see. Okay, so first things first, we'll put your dispenser down over here. After that, you'll break this block, this block over here, and this block over here. And we can place an observer like this over here so that the head of the observer is facing this way. Um, we can cover this up over here and we can place a piece of redstone over here. After that, we'll dig out this block over here, this block over here, and all of these blocks over here as well. You will place a double chest over here with a hopper inside of that, just like that. Amazing. After that, we can place a rail on top of this one over here, and we can place a minecart with a hopper. I just got the wrong minecart. I'm sorry about that. There we go. Minecart with a hopper. After that, we can place a piece of dirt over here. And then we can also place a piece of dirt over here. And we can get our glass cage up and running over here. It's just so that the grass regrows in the long run. We can get some fences and place some fences in over here like so. Okay, and before you place your sheep in over here into this little farm, as you can see, I filled all of mine with shears up over here. So it's super simple. We'll place our little sheepy in, or in your case, you can just lead them up some stairs. We'll hopefully eat some grass pretty soon. Oh, well, obviously you guys are eating, but so the ideal is when the sheep does eat in a minute, <laughs> then it will trigger these shears over here. These shears will automatically shear it, and then the wool will be in this big chest over here, but this sheep does not want to eat. Oh, there we go. It's eating. It's shears. And its wool gets picked up over here underneath. And obviously, you can make this with all the different colors of wool you need. So that's farm number one. So the next farm I will be showing you guys is a sugarcane farm. And sugarcane farms are useful in bedrock because they will give you paper. And paper is useful for all the rockets which you need to craft. So yeah, it's going to be a super useful little small farm to make. Okay. So we'll break this block over here. We'll press down a barrel. We'll turn around. We'll break this block, place a hop over here. We'll leave this block out. We'll break this one over here. We'll put down some stairs. We'll waterlog those stairs. On top of that, we'll place a dispenser like so. We'll break these blocks over here. And we'll also place down a block over here. After that, we'll place a redstone torch over here with a block on top of that redstone torch. And we will also place in our trusty lever over here in the front. We'll get a redstone peter and then we'll place that down over here like so. After that, we'll get our piece of redstone dust over here with a block on top of that. If you don't, well, then it should be clicking over here like so. We can turn that clicking off by just flicking this lever over here down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come to this side of our farm over here. We'll place down a piece of sugar can over here. We'll get a hopper crouch down and place it into this dispenser over here. We'll place a barrel or a chest on top of this. And then in this, we'll fill it up with some bone meal over here. After that, we'll place down two blocks over here like so. We'll come to this side of our farm over here. We'll place down a redstone torch over here. We'll get our solid blocks. We'll crouch down and place a block right over here. And after that, we'll get your pistons and place one piston over here and another piston on top of that like so. After that, it's super simple. You will just come to both sides of the farm. And you'll fill these in with blocks like so. Make sure to not break that. We'll fill these in and we'll also put a nice little roof on top of this as well. And we can come to the front of your farm over here and we can place down a couple glass panes like so. And now when you turn this lever on, it will make sugar cane. It's a super simple little farm. As you can see, it's super easy, works super well. Um, and as you can see, you are already getting a lot of sugarcane over here. 
there will be some pieces of sugarcane that will get stuck over there on the glass. It's just sadly how bedrock works. But if that happens, then you can just simply turn off your farm over here. You can break these couple of pieces of glass. You can crush that. You can come in, pick them up, and just replace the glass afterwards. So yeah, it's a super simple little fix. Okay, so the third and last farm we'll I'll be showing you guys how to make today is a very simple cow farm design. So what we'll be doing over here is digging a two by three hole out like so, placing a double chest over here, with a hopper going into that double chest like so. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to the front over here and build one, two, three, one, two, three, and then another one over here, like so, a little archway, and we're gonna place some glass blocks over here in the middle, and we can also open up our chest like so. We're gonna grab our solid blocks over here, and place a couple down like so, grabbing our dispenser and placing that right over here with a lever in front of that over here on the front side of your farm. Next thing what we're going to do is we're going to come to the back over here and place a couple blocks down here like so. And then after that, we'll place a couple blocks over here like so. Should end up with something looking a little bit like this. After that, we can also do the sides of our farm over here like so. We'll just go up so that we have a nice little box. And then we can come down over here, crouch down, and place a couple signs just down here so that the lava doesn't kill the small little baby cows. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue with the signs. We're going to place a sign over here and a sign over here as well. We'll get our solid blocks. We'll place two of those over here. We'll grab our water bucket and place one over here and one down over here so the water should be flowing in front over there. Okay, now what you will do is you'll get two cows to spawn over here in the top of your farm you can obviously lead them up by just placing a couple stairs and leading them push wheat you will get your fences we'll place one fence down here and then we'll place a couple more over here so that these cows stop bobbing we can break this over here you can also come in the front over here and replace these signs with some solid block and then we can also replace the grass and the glass sorry and then now we can come to your cows and basically you have to breed these cows up so that you have like about 50 cows in here so a lot of cows okay so once you have your cows bred up over here it should look a little bit something like this a little cow chaos over there we will then come down over here to the front of our farm we'll grab our signs and we're going to actually break these two blocks over here and replace these two blocks with signs over there. So that's one sign. That's that. Oops, oops, oops. I don't want the cows to go out. Ah, the little small cows are going out. Never mind. So the idea of this farm is, as you can see, um, you can come up here and you can breed these top cows over here with some wheat. Let's just breed them up quickly. Hopefully some of them want to get bread. There we go. And then when they have some babies, the babies will come down over here, as you can see. And then we'll grab a lava bucket from our inventory over here. And we'll place that in this dispenser like so. Here we go. We'll get a couple big cows. So imagine that your small little baby cows are all grown up now. And there's cow chaos over here. So let's release the lava on them. There we go. One switch should be enough. As you can see, all of the, the big cows are all gone and their stuff is nicely down here and it also cooks the beef for you as well. So it's a super simple little farm and the little baby ones will always stay safe over there until they don't grow up. So if you obviously want more cows, you'll just come up here, you'll breed them again, they'll make some babies, the babies will drop down here, it will grow, the babies will grow up and then you can basically just kill them with just lever over here and you can get a lot of leather and a lot of cooked beef as well. So yeah, it's a super, super, super effective farm. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little farm making video and learned something new about these three cool little farms in Minecraft. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to build either one of them. And also let me know what other farms I should try out in the future. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.